Hey everybody, Tracy Brown here. I'm turning up my volume so you can hear it. Oh, did you hear that honk? Wow. All right, I hope you all are doing great today. Um, so yeah, so again, if you don't know who I am, I'm Tracy Brown. I'm a somatic nutrition therapist and a, a, tuna, a tuna eating and body image specialist. And today, so we all know how damaging diet culture is. We all know how, um, it's how scary it is to say, you know what, I see it and I'm over it and it's so wrong that people judge each other based on size or shape and that um, certain things in this culture aren't, um, all kinds of entities aren't um, even interested in hearing about the, the damage all that does. So we're not going to really talk about that today too much. So. What I notice, and this is going to be a three-part series, so this is day one, and I'm going to do two more videos around this, on these topics, is that there are three things, and there's, there's actually more, but I'm just going to do three for this series. Three things that I see that are very, 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 very common patterns that kind of keep us looping in the same old thing around maybe taking risks with our food, um, getting in meals that are satisfying, um, regularly doing self-care, you know, whatever that is. Um, and I'm going to list all three. I got my sticky note here because I had to think about it. So what are the three, three main things, not main, but three things that I see that could basically keep people stuck with moving forward. So in no particular order, it's fear of slowing down. We all know that if you want to be more in tune with your body's needs, to be able to hear what they are, to honor them, we have to slow down. And I'll be honest, that was super excruciating for me for a lot of reasons. One was, you know, I had this belief that if I slow down, that I'll never get anything done, that people will judge me. So another thing that's underneath diet culture is still, you know, not only diet culture, but just earning for worth in general. There's that theme of like, um, I need to produce. I need to produce more, whether you stay at home, your, and your day and your house is a certain way and your family's a certain way or your job or whatever it is you're doing if you're a student it's this idea that like what's out there the external is way more important than what's in here there's a, um, a struggle with that number two is lack of energy what I find is a lot of people they want to like eat more nourishing meals but it's like it feels like their needs are too much too much trouble it's not worth it and what people are saying is they're not worth it and when I see that I see that collapse I see I wouldn't even call it depression but I see that like collapse of feeling like it is it's an energy drain which is why people feel so tired a lot of times and I know we're gonna be tired for lots of reasons we can be tired because we're over scheduled we overburden ourselves which goes back to to issue one is um, lack of slowing down to notice anything and to get actual good feedback for you to act on in a healthy way and number three is just being in survival mode meaning knowing that what you're doing is not what you want to be doing but you feel like you can't stop and um, that could be a flip-flop of like I'm keeping myself distracted constantly to the other end of the spectrum which is um, I kind of keep myself in numbing kind of work that you know isn't like high pace but I'm just not all that here and you know these are these are challenging all three of these things are really challenging because when you get down what I what I notice is when people start to like okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna start food journaling I'm gonna start noticing things I'm going to reject diet culture I'm gonna read all the books and listen to all the podcasts we can make a lot of progress doing all that and we should be doing all those things it's it's helpful but then we start to get all, all this mind and head information, which is awesome. But we need to get more neck down. And that's where slowing down to ask the simple questions. And we're just going to do, again, we're going to do part three parts to this. So today we're just going to talk about to be neck down with the idea of if I want to get somewhere with not needing food, either restricting or binging or emotional eating or whatever or over exercise or whatever behavior I'm doing that I know distracts from my my work my my life in, in a life affirming way is this is you this is the homework for today that you know so if you take I want you to take a day take two days take three days um, 
it will take at least two days. Like that's what it'll be between, be, be between this video and the next one. Just take two days and, and practice this one piece of homework. Is So the idea of slowing down, I just want you to think about it. Close your eyes if it feels safe for you. And imagine what it would look like one part of your day where you're rushing around. And it might look like for you that you don't even think like you have to go to work and you didn't even pack any food or snacks for the day and you're rushing. What would it look like in your mind's eye to slow down? When you imagine that, what happens in your body? Do you get a sense of relief to do that? Or do you get panic? Or do you get like a knot in your stomach or this lump in your throat? What do you notice? That's the place we gotta work from next. And so, um, you know, from this place, I have to work with people individually to know like what their individual kind of like looping is around slowing down with their food or their food needs, what the story is. But I think that you might close your eyes and already see the picture of like, okay, I feel this like knot in my gut with the idea of slowing down to get a lunch out or slowing down five minutes doing something I don't really need to be doing or just even if it's five minutes earlier to pack a lunch and I part of me part of me wants to do that but there's another part of me that's like nope can't do that and so you might see another picture come up of like what is un what is the reason for that that's where you need to be headed that is your direction to go with slowing down so Again, we're going to go through all the other two in the next two videos, but this is your, that, what I just gave you is your homework. So if you need to rewatch this video again, I highly recommend you do that just to kind of re-remind yourself of what, what it is that are blocks. Because most people I work with, I mean some people are brand newbies to the idea of like recovery and eating in a more nourished way and healing their relationship with food. People want that. but. And people, I mean, I've had lots and lots of clients come to me either from me, like they're, I'm their first stop, or they work with people, bef you know, before me. And it's like, yeah, I know that, like, I shouldn't judge my body. Yeah, I know that I um, uh, want to make peace with my food, but I don't know how to get there. And I look at their life, and it's too, too jam-packed for them to have space to do that. Then this is what this video is for you. Go back and watch the beginning and do that homework assignment of envisioning what slowing down in one area where your food seems to be kind of stuck, slowing down that one area and what comes up for you. And then, you can, I'm not gonna repeat the exercise, go back and watch the video and see how you can take one day, one hour, two days, the next two days, and work your way through that exercise so you can see what's coming up with you, for you, around that just that one, one place where either restricting is happening, binging is happening, or whatever, and slow down, see if you can let yourself, even you don't even have to slow down, imagine yourself slowing down to see what that body reaction is. From there, you can go the next step. So, thank you so much. This is, this is part one in, a, in a, a three series, and so we'll be talking about the energy thing and the survival mode thing next week. So thank you so much for watching, and I'd love to hear your comments, see your comments below, and answer some questions about that. So, thank you so much, and take care.